Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my November favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time, mostly because by the time I remember or have time to do it, it's like the middle of the next month and I figure that it's too late to do a favorites video for the previous month anyway, so I just, I don't even do it. But I had time to do it this month, I thought about it. Uh, actually doing it over the weekend, but I have time to do it now. So I was like, hey, why not? Let me get it done before I forget or it's the middle of December and then I miss another month. It's barely like the second or the third. I think it's, I don't know what today it is. It's like the first. It's not the first. What's today? Probably the third. What's today? It's the second. It's the first week of December. I can go ahead and do a video and it not be too late so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all what my favorites for the month of November were so most of the things that I have are beauty related so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one thing that isn't and it is the sweater weather candle by Bath and Body Works this smells so good Oh, I don't know how to describe it, so I'm just going to read what it says on the bottom. Um, but it's a blend of aromatic eucalyptus, juniper berry, and fresh sage. Um, I get the eucalyptus. I definitely smell that, and I love the way that smells. I don't know. I just like the smell of eucalyptus, and that's probably why I love this one so much. Because I now that I've read that, I can definitely smell it. Um, this is actually the first year that I've purchased this one and it is my favorite fall candle. Uh, right now I'm burning Marshmallow Fireside because that's the candle that I burn through like the Christmas season. So from when my Christmas tree gets put up until it gets taken down pretty much, I burn that candle because that's my favorite. It just reminds me of... Christmas and that's why I burn it so that is what I'm burning now but for November this is what I burn and it's pretty much all gone well I still have about a fourth of it left um, but I'll save it for next fall and burn that until it completely runs out I even purchased the wallflowers because I love the smell so much um, but like I said now I've got the marshmallow fireside in and that is my absolute favorite candle ever. Like, if I could burn that all year, I would. But I like burning, like, season-appropriate candles. But that one was my favorite for November. Okay, the next few things are going to be pretty much all makeup, all beauty-related. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I love to spray this on after I apply my primer. So I put on my primer and then I spray a little bit of this. I kind of let that set and dry into the skin and then I apply my foundation. Does it make a difference? I assume it does make somewhat of a difference. Um, but I like the way it feels. I like that it refreshes my face. It feels like I'm adding moisture into my face and I like the way that my foundation looks when I use this. So. This is definitely something that I use a lot in the month of November and I use this on my clients as well, especially whenever they have like drier skin. I think this helps a lot to add, like I said, moisture back into the skin so that the foundation doesn't look patchy or cakey and I think it's, you can use it as a, um, yeah, you can use it as a refresher for your makeup afterwards. So. You can use this even after you have put on your foundation, maybe throughout the day you just kind of need like some hydration. This is something that you could add to or spray to your face later throughout the day as a refresher so that you kind of like feel refreshed. Another thing that I used a lot in the month of November is the NYX Liquid Suede, uh, I think it's lipstick, cream lipstick in the color vintage which is what i'm wearing on my lips now it doesn't really go too well with the makeup that i did today but i figured that for the sake of the video i would go ahead and wear it so that you saw what it looked like 
I did a video, a swatch video also like earlier this month or earlier last month where I uh, swatched the NYX liquid lipsticks that I did have. For whatever reason, I missed this one and I didn't include this color in that video, but I wear it all the time. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen me post pictures of this. I think I've even posted pictures on my Instagram. So that's what I was using pretty much all the month of November. If it wasn't this one and I wanted to go more nude, it was uh, Soft Spoken, which is also one of NYX's liquid suede lipsticks. I really like this. I like the formula. They don't dry. They're kind of sticky still after a while, so they don't like dry completely matte. Um, but they do last. Uh, and that's what I like about these is that I don't have to constantly apply it throughout the day. So this was one of my favorites for November. Another thing that I really enjoyed and I pretty much finished is the Naked Skin uh, Concealer by Urban Decay. I still have a little bit in this one, but I purchased, I think it's medium light. This is medium, um, and the medium light, I it's all gone. It's like completely empty. I scraped as much of, of it as I could until I just couldn't get any more. Um, but I'm still using this one, and this one I use for under my eyes to kind of neutralize before I highlight. Um, but I really like this concealer. One, it does not crease. It doesn't crease on me at all. And it's very full coverage. Um, and it says it's a weightless complete coverage concealer, which that's exactly what it is. I like that it's, it doesn't dry. I mean, it dries but it's not like like a patchy dry and it doesn't look um like it doesn't settle into fine lines and it doesn't look really dry under the eye obviously you want to moisturize before you apply anything under your eyes just so that you don't get that um but with this concealer i don't i don't have that problem and it it dries to where it kind of sets itself so I don't have to set it like with a powder or anything. Usually I do because I also use the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, and that's what I use to highlight. So I use that uh, setting powder under my eye anyway. But you really don't need it with this. Um, I feel like it, it sets and dries very nice. Where if you don't want to set underneath your eye, you really don't have to. Um, I'm pretty much almost out of this one too. So I'm going to go back to Ulta or... Sephora and order me um, a few of these probably for my kit. I, I bought them because I wanted to try them out and I really like them so I think I'm going to be adding these to my kit because they're really nice. For probably the past month I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you've watched my videos maybe my last like two or three this is the foundation that I've been using and I love this foundation. It looks so nice. It sets on the skin so pretty. I love it. I mean, I don't have any complaints about it. Um, it says it's oil-free, so it's perfect for me because I have oily T-zone. Uh, but what I do, and I've really been enjoying this combination, is I've been applying the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Pro Matte Foundation to like the center where I do get oily, just in case. Um, and the combination of these two together is perfection. Like, I love the foundation together. I like them alone. I like them separate. I use this more in, or I would use it more in the winter or in the colder months because I don't know how well it does, like, in the summer and the heat and humidity. I haven't really tested that out just because I've only been using it recently. But um, this one was my favorite in the summer. It still is my favorite foundation. However, I noticed that whenever it was starting to get cooler and my skin was starting to be a little more dry than it is in the summer, this didn't look so good. It looked really, really matte, like super matte. And I just didn't like the way that it looked on my skin when my skin changes in the winter. But I added them together and it's so pretty. I went to Ulta last week, um, that Black Friday, and um, I walked in there 
and asked one of the girls there that worked there if they had a certain product and unfortunately they didn't have it so I had to order it online that's another story but she complimented me on my foundation and she's like what are you wearing and I told her it's the Too Faced Born This Way and the L'Oreal and it felt so good because I I like the way it looked and to get a compliment or somebody actually notice, I don't know, it just made me feel like, hey, you know, I'm doing something right. So these two together, if you have like combination oily and, or is it normal to oily skin and your your skin is like oily during the summer and then in the winter it kind of gets not super dry but you do have a little drier than normal, these two together I think you'll really like this. So if you have these two or you're thinking about getting one or the other, I would definitely try them. These are my favorite, for sure. Um, but together, like right now, they're like just perfect. They're perfect. So I've really been enjoying the combination of these two foundations. I know that there is a ton of people that love this bronzer. And I really never tried it, but I figured that I would since everybody raved about it so much. Um, but this is the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. And I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little more orange than I would have liked. But because I'm tan, it goes really well with my skin color. Um, and I like using this to add color like whenever I'm having that no makeup makeup day or... I just want a really neutral eye because I'm going to wear, you know, bold eyeliner or a bold lip. I like to put this in my crease and it just pretty much, you know, adds color into my look without actually adding color. So I like the way this blends. It's very pretty for, I think I paid like $30 for this, but it's a lot of product. I mean, I've had this for a while, um, didn't really use it too, too much because I was using something else but now that I'm using this this is this is all that I use and the reason why I like this so much is because if I just want to use it as a bronzer I'll use it as a bronzer and then I'll add some blush and if I just don't feel like adding blush that day then I'll just go a little heavier with the bronzer which I do a lot unfortunately <laughs> but I really like this so when I run out this is something that I'll definitely be repurchasing and also adding to my kit. I watch I watch a lot of YouTube and one of my favorite YouTubers is Patrick Starr and he always raves about this airspun powder. It's a loose face powder. It's in translucent and I use this to set under my eyes whenever I do need to set, you know, like the concealer. Um and I really like it a lot. It's translucent, so obviously it doesn't add any color, but it does add some type of coverage. Like, I feel like whenever I put it on, it kind of just, like, smooths everything out. The only thing that I'm not a fan of is the scent. It's very, it smells like perfume, like, like somebody just, some perfume, but it's very perfumey. Is that a word? That's the only thing that I don't like about it, just because I'm not a fan of putting strong scents like that on my face. It only smells like that whenever you, you know, sniff it or when you're first applying it. Throughout the day, once it's on your face and you're wearing it throughout the day, you can't even smell it anymore. Um, but initially, it does have that perfume smell, and that's the only thing that I don't like. Other than that, I, I really like the powder. I think I paid like $6 or $7 for this at uh, CVS or Walgreens. Either one, they have it. I think Walmart and Target may have it too. But I know that for sure Walgreens has it because I saw it there the other day. Um, last but not least, and if you have been following me on Snapchat or Instagram, which if you haven't, I'm gonna go ahead and link both down below you'll know that I am completely obsessed with the TLS highlighting powders. I have featured these in like a ton of my videos. These are gorgeous. I only picked up four and I think, I'm sure she has more um, because there's like two more that I wanna buy that I'm definitely gonna get because they're so inexpensive and you get six grams of product and 
I'm not sure. I want to say they were like $10 or $11. I'm going to leave the price up here because I have to look it up and let you know. But I'm going to leave her website and her Instagram and all that good stuff down below too in case you're interested. Uh, I went ahead and swatched the ones that I do have. And I'll go ahead and put a, a close-up video also so you can see them up close. So bad at describing these. I'm just going to put a clip up here of these swatches so you can see for yourself how pretty they are. And for the price, you honestly cannot beat that. These are gorgeous. I love the, the longevity. They're just so pretty. Like, Go check out my pictures on my Instagram. Snapchat, they won't be there anymore, but go to my Instagram, go and check her out, leave her links down below and swatches somewhere in here so that you guys can see how pretty these highlighters are. I'm so glad I picked these up because these are definitely a staple in my kit, especially for my brides when they want that glow. I just, I love these powders and I recommend them to anybody that asks. So definitely go check her out and pick you up some of these highlighting powders because they're absolutely beautiful. So that's it you guys. Those are my favorites for November. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making them for you. And let me know what your favorites are for last month, the month before. Let me know down below. I always am down for checking out new products. Um, that's just my problem. I'm sorry. I have an addiction. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Please like so that I know that you like these videos. Also, comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. I'm going to be coming out with a few holiday tutorials within the next few weeks. I posted one um, this morning, which when you're watching this, it'll have been like two days ago. So go ahead and check that one out and like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.